Scene one, Apple, take one. Scene one, Apple, take two. Future director presenting the new 2009 Jason 18 inch action figure and the new 2010 smaller Freddy action figure. Well, let's just start with the smaller one here. See it from a Nightmare on Elm Street. Uh, as you can see, it's very highly detailed, especially in the sweater area. In there. And uh, the claw, very detailed. The only problem I have with the claw is it's very fragile, like, like it can bend very easily. Let's see, as a matter of fact, one of the claws, uh, that claw broke off right there, and I had to glue it back on. And uh, his hat is removable. You see, it's made of some type of rubbery thing. I mean, it's actually very detailed too. You can see like damage done. And uh, his head's very highly detailed also see the burns actually this is his badly burned version of him I would prefer this one just in my opinion because it just it has more deep burns than the other one but yeah his teeth showing like he's angry or something here and uh, it's a sweater and he is a little bit poseable in the waist and just not much and same with the arms here yeah, um, uh, this is made by NECA, so yeah, the legs don't really move, just the feet. Anyways, the other head, his normal self, is uh, just like that. Fan zooming. But yeah, you can um, take off the head and place it with everyone you like. And that's the normal burn for you. And this is the, this actually came with the box. It's a little like a poster thing, something like that. And, um, so I'll just read this. A group of suburban teenagers share one common bond. They all being stalked by Freddy Krueger, a horribly disfigured killer who haunts them in their dreams. As long as they stay awake, they can protect one another. But when they sleep, there is no escape. And that is the Freddy 2010 action figure. I would definitely recommend this to a friend and anyone who likes Freddy Krueger and likes the new Nightmare on Street. And moving on to the 2009 Jason. You can see in the head it's very highly detailed. This is his bag mask, the first mask he wore. Yeah. Very good detail. And the jacket is uh, rubber, it's like, gives it some realism to it, Let's move it around. I'm sure it has lots of detail, like, just, like, damage and stuff. And, uh, just show you the machete real quick. It's very good detail, it actually looks like an actual machete. And even though it's a little... It's a uh, plastic. It's a little like sharp. Oh, yeah, and it comes with the machete holder right here. You can see, and um, his hands are made of a little bit of rubber, so they can bend a bit. And seeing the the legs and the le the lower body doesn't really move, just the feet. Actually, I don't think the feet move. Really. And moving on, to, uh, you can take off his head. Just move to the uh, hockey mask here. Oh, just hard to get on there. It's a problem. There. And um. Very highly detailed in the mask. You know, like it's faded a little bit, and you can tell he's been through a lot. The mask is removable. 
Honestly, I think his head looks kind of weird. It's not really scary, it's just... This looks like... This looks weird. Yeah. And I guess they made it paler because, um, he always wears a mask and never takes it off, so... Didn't get much sunlight in his face. Here's the mask. That scratch marks right there. Yeah, I don't really like the hair though. It's kind of weird. Like, it's, it's just different, you know? And same with the eye, you know? And that is the 2009 Jason figure. Here, let's, let's look at the box. I'm going to read all that. Show you a little glimpse of the box. If you do want to read it, you can just pause it. Yeah, let me show you slides. Let me show you that. To the hockey mask. Show you his display. And that's my review. See you next time.